Hey everyone, okay so in this video I wanted to talk about the idea of remaking Game of Death. Let's just come out and say it, let's just remake Game of Death. Now to many the idea of remaking a Bruce Lee movie is, uh, yeah it's like sacrilegious. Um, like how could you do that? And I'd, I'd talked, I'd made a video a while back about some years ago now about re a remake of Enter the Dragon and what would be the merits, would that be interesting? But the more I've thought about it really, I mean Enter the Dragon is a f it's such an important film, it's a perfect film, I mean why? Why touch it? You know you look at the four Bruce Lee films, the four completed Bruce Lee films, you know Enter the Dragon, Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury and The Big Boss you know, do, yeah, I can understand the. Th I can understand the, you know, being very protective of them. You know, they mean a lot to a lot of people. So again, why touch them? Exactly, you're never gonna be able to recapture. Um, you know, they are what they are, and they are Bruce's movies. They're Bruce's legacy. So as you say, don't interfere with those. They're kind of uh, they are sacred. You know, but there's something about Game of Death, and it's basic. Well, something. About, it's basically the fact that it's an incomplete movie. You know, and basically, it is. It's it's a Franken film. It is. You know, obviously stuff that Bruce Lee shot. These sequences that Bruce Lee shot, and then you have a whole movie built around these sequences. Obviously, most of which is used with a body double. You know. Um, but I just uh, there's something in here that just keeps thinking that a remake of Game of Death would be something very very cool. And you you know you can change things here and there. You know a remake slash reimagining. You know I mean the same principle. You know essentially you know uh, uh, this mega star actor martial artist that's targeted by the mob, and then fakes his own death and then basically uses this as an opportunity to get revenge on the guys that's fine keep that but then there's a couple of things you could change along the way like you know watching game of death um and you know you appreciate <coughs> they were doing the best they could in the circumstances um but a lot of it does feel like padding i'm sorry it does and I'm sorry, the romance is lame, and the fact that the love interest even gets forgotten about, uh, you know, that tells you everything you need to know. She just disappears, um, and is never referenced again. So maybe that's even something you could just, cut, like, trim the fat. You know, basically, you, you've got your set up there, you know, superstar martial artist targeted by the mob fakes his own death and then goes and gets the guys that were out to get him perfect very very simple nice and easy and again i think the cut of game of death that i watch is about an hour 40 this doesn't have to be an hour 40 this could be an 18 minute movie this could be a 90 minute this could be like you know commando in and out and I'm saying 90 minutes with credits included. Yeah, this could be a very tight, brisk movie. And again, most of the focus... Again, this wouldn't have to be a plot-heavy movie. This is, could all be about the action, you know. And like, you get your initial setup, and then the rest of this... I mean... You've got the whole concept of the tower, the pagoda tower, working your way up level by level and a different opponent on every level. I would be very happy if that took up the lion's share of the screen time. Like maybe, maybe we have 20 minutes of setup and then the rest of this thing could just be this whole tower working our way up, different opponent on every level. And... You know the the fights that we get in this are, are great in 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 what in the original game of death, but we could level up. We could level up, and again, different opponent, different style on every level. Like you say, we get like the nunchucks. We get hand to hand. Maybe we could get swords, blades, uh, all stuff like that. Maybe uh, bow staffs, axes. I don't know knives it just 
anything you can think of. And just, again, dialing it up. Because obviously Bruce, well, you know, we've brought Bruce Lee shot. You know, he has his, uh, the opponent with the nunchucks. He has the next opponent where we have the first hand-to-hand. -hand, and then obviously the fight with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um, you know, but we could just dial that up. We could have a lot of levels to this tower, man. And we could have a lot of opponents. And I'm just thinking, like, it's all about the casting here. Because you want, obviously, like, in your main role, in the Bruce Lee role, you want someone who's, you know, obviously got great presence. It doesn't have to be, you know, we don't need a master thespian. But we need someone with the presence, the likability, but also the abilities, you know. Like, the name that always comes to mind for me is Eko, Eko Yawais, from The Raid. He'd be perfect for this. I mean, obviously, that's just enough that some might, some people might say that's lazy casting, but it's okay. That's just off the dome. It could be, you know, but I think this would be fascinating to have Eco in the Bruce Lee role. And again, you keep the iconic stuff. You know, like obviously we need, obviously, just from an optics point of view, we need him in the yellow and black. We do. I mean, that's perfect. I mean, fair enough, you can make some adjustments. You can make some adjustments, absolutely. But it, again, yeah, yellow and black, basically, biker suit. Awesome. And again, in terms of the look, you know, obviously... I, obviously, I've always liked Bruce Lee with the, that longer hair. Obviously, like he has in Enter the Dragon, like he has in his scenes in this. And again, I think... Mm, I think there's something aesthetically pleasing or interesting in action and fight stuff with the longer hair because it flows it moves when some when he gets punched in the face the hair flies and it just it makes it more dramatic and i think this is one of the things that jackie always incorporated in his fight scenes because obviously he, he had the longer hair and um I, 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 uh, it's been said in other videos that have talked about Jackie's fights, you know, obviously oftentimes had these really billowy sweatshirts on, you know, just things that really flowed and moved and made, basically made the movements more dramatic. So obviously, fair enough, got the yellow jumpsuit, but modernised. And then still keeping with, a longer, with longer hair that's kind of going to make those, like, uh shots more dramatic like these reaction shots when he's moving when he's being hit when he's hitting you've just got this more dramatic visual almost i mean fair enough it's not the right terminology but more dramatic silhouette more dramatic outline it, it's it, i just think it there's something aesthetically pleasing about it so i'd want to keep that but i just think of the people we could get in this like you could get someone like if you could get Scott Adkins or Michael Jai White to come in and play sort of like the Bob Wall character, that would be cool. And I tell you what, even though I wasn't a fan, really, of the pl of the plot in the original Game of Death, i got to say, man, the guy, obviously, who plays, like, I don't know whether you want to call it the agent, the representative, the, you know, the, the guy who's trying to recruit Bruce Lee into their agency... Our sleazy business uh, man type, he was great, and obviously even in the climax he throws down with Bruce Lee. So you want a guy who's great and has that can bring that that sort of personality, and um, but he can also throw down. So there's something in here that's itching, thinking, do you know what? If we could get someone like Frank Grillo for that character, that would be great. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, but I just, obviously, you know, people like Adkins, Michael Jai White, and then people like Tony Jar would be perfect for this. People like, uh, oh, I, I'm in love with Max Jang, or if you prefer Jin Jang, uh, whichever. You know, he's great in... Well, obviously, came in with Man 3 and then he had his own spin-off, Master Z. And then, obviously, when he showed up in Escape Plan 3, holy Moses, he was great. If we could get him in here. Um, and, obviously, Yayan Ruhian from The Raid and from uh, John Wick uh, 3, and he'd be great. And uh, 
I always butcher, but CSEP, uh, I always butcher his name, who was in obviously the Raid 2, and uh, he would be phenomenal for this. But there's, there's a wealth, there's a wealth of these guys, you know, these great martial artists uh, who you could get for this. And uh, again, even like, more, even not more on the Western side, I've talked about Scott Adkins, my guy Daniel Bernhardt. I love him. He would be great, and he always works well as a heavy. So just it, it'd be it'd be great. Uh, but there's just so many people you could get for this. Even even if they were just came in for one fight scene, it could be a real who's who, like a real ensemble piece. Like guess it, yeah. Like okay, we're gonna fight him now. Now we're gonna go fight him. Hey. Let's be all inclusive. Let's be diverse. He, yeah. Let let's. He's gonna fight her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. There's so many great female martial artists as well. Like um, I really like. I love her, Julia Stell, who played the operator in in the Night Comes for Us, and who was in, uh, who was Hammer Girl in the Raid Two. Get her in here. Oh my, she would be fantastic. Yeah, so someone like her, she would be great. Um, yeah, so just the the concept of Game of Death, that core concept, like we're gonna go up this tower, and when basically it's ironic that we if if we say Eco in the lead role, he's gonna go up this tower like he's in the raid all over again, and obviously right at the top we've got our uh, you know. Again, you want some like for the for the head of the organization, the real sleaze ball. You want someone very, very punchable. Uh, you know, but one way or another, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take us. We're going to get to the top of that tower. We're going to get there. yeah, because that was one of the things in in the original game of death. Obviously, Bruce Lee. Well, Bruce Lee's double at this point chases him out on the rooftop, and then obviously there's he tries to escape, and then he falls off this ladder to his death. I don't want him falling in this. I want our guy to throw him from the top of this pagoda tower. He's gonna go. He's gonna get thrown. He's gonna get. He's gonna go all the way down. It's gonna basically be like Mama's death. From dread, just but dialed up, dial it up. But I think this would be wonderful. It would be a, such a joy. But again, I did. But just in summary, I appreciate the the initial idea on paper of remaking a Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, it gets a lot of people very nervous very quickly, and understandably so. But I think there would be some real merit to doing Game of Death, and I think there'd be a lot of fun to be had. And again, I just think as well, from a production design perspective, each level of this tower, oh, the fun that could be had designing, like what each level would look like. It would be, it, again, it, getting the right people involved. Like if you could get, you know, obviously the guys from 8711 or 87 North as they are now, if you could get them in on this, oh. Oh, we would be in for a treat, but yeah. Um, so just a, what I would go for is just a, just a real trim the fat, no padding, all killer, no filler, um, and legitimately not what Robert Rodriguez promised with the book of Boba Fett. But we'll leave that there. But yeah, again, brisk eighty eighty five minutes. Oh man. I think this would be a joy. This would be an absolute joy to watch. But just the there's a lot of potential there. And again, obviously Hollywood's burning. Thank and it's a joy again. That's a joy to watch. Um, but if and when Hollywood recovers and we when we return to the idea of we need to bring our focus back to lower budget movies. You know, lower budget action, horror, comedy, drama, romance, all that stuff. This would be a relatively inexpensive movie to make. You could make this for may maybe 50 million, you know. And that's at the most outrageous. You could do this for 20, surely. But yeah, just real down and dirty, you know. Just guys in a room fighting it out. No special effects. No. And again, 
you don't have to globe trot. You could, most of the film's going to take place in this tower block. Um, but it would be. I just think something like this would be great. This would be great, and just the way chore the way choreography is now. You know, you've got guys out there who have such an appreciation and a, a love for the art. Obviously, Scott Adkins has he's coined the term the art of action. And I think a remake of Game of Death would be the perfect opportunity to showcase the art of action. But that pretty much wraps this up. I just wanted to get on here and just talk about, yeah, really, we need to remake Game of Death or see a remake done of it. It would be amazing. But please feel free to share your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And if you, I hope you've enjoyed this, just this thought experiment, if it's nothing else. And I thank you for your indulgence, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.